Welcome to the Stanford Healthcare Emergency Department. Our goal is to provide you with the highest quality, most compassionate care possible. Your doctor has recommended that you undergo a procedure called a lumbar puncture, also known as a spinal tap, as part of your medical treatment. There are many reasons to perform this procedure, including severe headache, neck stiffness, fever, and concern for brain or spinal cord injury. The goal of this procedure is to collect cerebrospinal fluid, the fluid that surrounds your brain and spinal column for testing. A needle will be inserted carefully into the spinal canal in your lower back in order to do so. This is a relatively common procedure performed about 400,000 times per year in the U.S. Test results from this procedure will help determine how to treat you further. The procedure takes approximately 30 minutes, including setup, and laboratory testing usually takes two hours. Your doctor will instruct you to either lie on your side or sit up on the edge of the bed in preparation for the procedure. The doctor will then direct you to arch your back like a cat and hold this position for the duration of procedure. Maintaining the correct position minimizes pain and greatly increases the procedure's chance of success. So it is very important that you understand the correct positioning and ask your doctor or nurse to check that your back is arched properly. After positioning, the doctor will wash your back with a powerful soap. Then, a numbing medication will be injected into the skin. After the skin is numb, a needle will be gently inserted into your back to collect spinal fluid. This fluid flows slowly through the needle, so it can take up to 10 minutes to collect enough fluid. Typically, there is not a significant amount of pain associated with this procedure, though you may experience some pressure and discomfort. The most common risks of this procedure are similar to the risks of any needle insertion and include pain, bleeding, and skin infection. You may also feel pain shooting down your legs during the procedure or develop a headache after the procedure. These risks very rarely cause permanent damage. Extremely rare but life-threatening risks of this procedure are a spinal fluid infection called meningitis, spinal cord or brain injury, and serious bleeding. There is also a possibility that the doctor is unable to obtain spinal fluid. Previous back surgeries, obesity, or inability to maintain correct positioning are common causes. Our doctors strive to act in the best interest of you, their patient, and would not recommend this procedure if they believe that the risks outweighed the benefits of this procedure. Thank you for watching. Please replay the video as needed. Your doctor will be happy to answer any questions you may have.